Hi everyone, and welcome to Tinker Van RC. Today we have the BVM General Dynamics Scheme F16 out. We're going to go ahead and get it built. Uh, before we do that, I wanted to talk about it a little bit and show you guys what we got. Now, the airplane is fantastic, and one of the really, really nice features is everything comes together. Assemble for you. Some basic assembly, and you're good to go. And what I'm talking about is, for example, if you take a peek inside our main fuselage, you'll see that our landing gear is installed. You have all the air lines hooked up to your actuators. Your main fuel tanks are installed. All the plumbing for the fuel tanks is routed. You have all the servo leads installed inside the fuselage. The servos are installed for you. Um, that being said, there's a lot of stuff. You can see all the wires that we've got to route to our forward fuselage section. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're showing you this because it's part of the assembly. We've got our smoke tanks here. The forward section of the fuselage, you have three attach points here. We're going to attach those to the main fuselage. Then we're going to come back and we're going to install our lower intake section. Now the landing gear and the lights and everything's installed for you. So what you see here is what we have to do. So we're going to go ahead and install, again, forward nose section onto the main fuselage. Get some of those wires routed through. We'll show you that. We're going to get that lower uh, nose piece installed. We'll get the wiring neat and will run through there. And that's, that's a major part of the build. So once you get that done, we're going to go ahead and move back on the tail. You know, we're going to get the tail section done. We'll show you that. We'll show you the wings. And we'll drop our engine in. So the whole point I'm trying to show, show you guys is that the airplane comes pre-assembled with a lot of these components for you to make the uh, installation easier and quicker. So you're not, your build time is going to be a lot less. You get the thing assembled and get out on the field. So let's go ahead and get these three sections assembled. We have our forward fuselage nose section installed on our main fuselage. Bolts on with three bolts. As you can see we have everything secured. All our wiring is secured. Um, I want to point out that the airplane comes with smoke tanks and you can see they're secured as well. So the next part of the build is to install this lower intake section onto our main fuselage. And as you can see, I have roughed in the wires and got them setting in place to make the installation easier. It gets secured with these three bolts here and in the back there's two pins right here that slide in place and there's bolts that go in there. Now you want to lock tight all your bolts including on the upper fuselage nose piece. Okay now in the electronics bay um, I just roughed in a lot of the wires, our fuel line, our receiver, our iGyro, our JetCat ESU. So everything's sitting in place. Now I recommend before you bolt that lower intake on, you route all those wires and get them secure. It's just a lot easier to do. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and install the lower intake section on our main fuselage. Alright everyone, as you can see, our lower intake fuselage section is installed and we ran the wires up through the fuselage. Forward electronics compartment, we have everything in place. So what you're looking at is um, everything is completed. Our receiver, our iGyro, all the components for our jet cat are installed, battery, switch, everything's installed including back aft you can see the UAT. So, Everything plugs in and marked. All the wires are marked, airlines are marked for you, so you just route them through uh, and secure them as we did. Okay, now moving back aft, you'll see we have the um, JetCat P140RX installed. We have our smoke tube installed here. I, I located my JetCat battery back here. We have our screen on our um, turbine, and we also have our tailpipe installed as well, so that's complete. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the wings on, show you the cockpit, close everything up, show you the airplane complete. Um, you can see the real nice marking here for your CG, okay? And this is where your wing gets installed. There's clamps underneath here, inside here I should say, and you access uh, it's tightening the clamps with a Allen screw on the bottom of the fuselage. The wings have forward and aft carbon fiber rods that slide in place. And obviously we have our lights and our uh, leads for our um, servos. So let's go ahead and get our wings installed and get everything installed and show you what the airplane looks like. 
right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and retract the landing gear. So here we go. Gear up. See how the lights go out? It's a real nice feature. There's our gear. It's up. All the doors are closed. We're looking good. Now, we left our landing light switch on just to show you that the lights went out. Now, when you go gear down, the lights should come on. So gear down. There's our lights. They're already on. Gear is down. Okay, let's get the airplane down and talk about some other items. We have the airplane down on Spain landing gear. Um, another item that I'd like to mention is the servos. The airplane has the high voltage servos in it. And I'm running 7.4 LiPos, two packs. Uh, and everything is working fantastically, as you can see. I hope you enjoyed preview two. As soon as we can, we're gonna get the airplane out of the field. We're gonna run the engine, taxi it, check that nose wheel steering, and take her out for her maiden flight. I appreciate everyone watching. Take care out there and happy flying from Tinkerman RC.